very exciting morning. Little did we know what we were about to experience. We came upon a few cars on the side of the road and asked them what they had seen. They had come across a few lines, but they had disappeared into thick bush a while ago and they were just waiting to see if they would come out again. We were on the fence of whether we would drive on or park the car and wait it out with the rest. In the end, we opted to wait it out, just in case. And out of nowhere, the sighting that we will never forget began. Reverse. Where are those? That's from behind. <laughs> running across there. Go a bit more, Butler. Mm. Like keep keep going? Yeah, like slowly though. There they are. Can you see them? Oh. Oh, wow. Holy moly. 
So we had a very exciting morning. We, we're actually now waiting for the, we had three male lions. We first kind of came up the road and these, everyone was like stopped and looking. Well, it's, it's weird. Kalinch? We can hear them, they're coming this direction. We've literally been chasing them for the past like two kilometers, two, three yeah, kilometers. And yeah. there's three male lions and they keep like, oh, they're roaring and it's amazing. Yeah. So we just now come to a clearing that it looks like they're coming towards the clearing and the Impala are like gapping it because they can hear it. But we're just here waiting. We were mid making cereal and uh, we stopped that situation very quickly because one came right past yeah. the door. Um, and yeah, so now we're just waiting. We're too scared to start our cereal, so we're not going to do it until we've left the line. Yeah. It, it was where we saw that single line yesterday, so that's, yeah, that that's kind of why we came back here. And um, yeah, and there oh, were. Oh, it was so cool. Yeah, we had one. Yeah. It was so exhilarating. So we'll see, we can hear them. It sounds like they're coming this direction, but you can see all the other cars are kind of waiting, lying and waiting, and so are we now. So we'll keep you updated. There they come, there they come. There they come. Awesome. They're on the side. Oh. Oh, yay. Okay, so update, they did come past us again and now we've got two on Scott's side and one right chub on me and now they've just laid down, I think they're really tired um, but I don't know if you can see this far but he's just there mm -hmm. and then we've got the two over there but it's, it's a bit sunny there, you can't see but It's amazing. Oh, and of course, true fashion is a big old traffic jam behind us. But great morning. He's coming back. Okay. down to be a little snack somewhere. Okay, off the road, well done. Now steer clear of the watering hole, okay? go. The lines have officially departed back to the way they came. So we feel like we've got our full of the, the sighting now. We're going to go different directions. 
but that was really incredible. Watch them scent mark. They're kind of like with a territory cry. It was really, really cool. What do you think, Butler? It was amazing. <laughs> and now, <laughs> now a healthy breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just back here at the hard but I mean at the watering hole. But they've moved off. They went like back there. We, we, what a morning. We're speculating on what they're up to and we think because we saw another male yesterday that looked quite beat up and that seemed like a territorial kind of thing that they're doing because they're oh, trotting time. and just roaring and roaring and then they got to this point and then that was it. It was the they display sent, was they over. They sent marked and yeah, now they've gone yeah, back yeah, but yeah. in a very like casual walk not the trot that they were doing earlier. Yeah. But that was really that was such an incredible like chasing them like not chasing them but like following them like we did that yeah. was so cool because we were actually that really felt like i don't know if you can see in the I gopro can't. but we were it way across there and we we could see them on the other valley running so we kept on like following running oh. driving parallel and then the road did a perpendicular turn and that's where we are now and that's where they came out and they have turned around so this is obviously the end of their territory yeah but that was incredible. After an exhilarating morning, we decided to spend the day in camp. We sorted out our footage from the trip so far, did the full Rhino Perimeter Trail and simply relaxed before heading out on our evening game drive.
Yo, is this no? What is this? Water no, can't be. No. Oh yeah, of course, of course. So. <laughs> oh, no, I just started thinking there's no way. <laughs> Sometimes you have to just make sure, you know. <laughs> Evening, guys. It's, it's the uh, end of day yeah. nine, and we're in bed already at oh. a at a record time. Record time off. Of it's sorry, it was late, twenty, 20 past, past eight. eight. Record time. Mm, we're tired. Yeah, we're tired. Much. It's kind of caught up to us a little bit. Yeah, had a very <laughs> easy dinner, and we wrapped up for the night, and we are lying in bed, and we're looking forward to a good night's sleep. We did get to see the leopard on the way back yeah. to camp. Yeah. I actually saw him on the road, but yeah. he kind of like swelled off. You guys would have seen the video. Yeah. That was amazing. That wasn't what we were expecting at all. So that was cool. So I would say today was a cat day. Eh? Yeah, we I mean, yesterday the... was too, but. Well, I, I, today was amazing. The, the lion sighting the lion trumped amazing. everything. Yeah, and did. yeah. Our evening drive was quiet aside from the leopard. I think that's all we really saw. I think. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to. We want to be at the gate before it opens for the first time our whole trip. Yeah. So that's our goal. So um, we will try to get up and be at the gate like 5 to 10 to. So hoping to see that leopard again walking along the road because they've done it every morning since. So we're hoping our luck, yeah, it will be in our luck tomorrow. So we're going to head to bed early tonight and we'll catch you guys for day 10. Thank you for watching day 9. We still can't believe our luck with that lion sighting we had today. We hope you enjoyed our day in and around Bachendal and hope to see you for day 10. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you all in the next one.